everyone and welcome to Astropook Art, the channel that might be small today but it will just keep growing and growing. Woo! So on today's video, it will be my very first time ever <laughs> doing a collaboration and no less with the amazing YouTuber Emily Artful. I will talk about her later on the video so don't worry about that. <laughs> but for now, let me explain you guys how we decided for the theme, the theme of this collab. So at first, like she contacted me, like sent an email, didn't check it, but so we decided to exchange each, other, each other's Skypes. So like we are now like the best friends <laughs> and we listed a bunch of cool themes and decided that we would randomly pick one. But then Emily suggested that if we like, what if we randomly pick two? So like then they would merge together. So to make an um, even more unique theme. So we have like tons of ideas like ghosts, circus, dragons, etc, etc. And in the end, uh, uh, it will end up being like something like ghostly dragons or another amazing stuff like that. It was like, yay! We actually were like worried that it would end up like pin up dragons or something like that. <laughs> but we were like crossing our fingers that we will get like a super amazing thing for us to draw about. So, unfortunate, unfortunate, uh, I can't say that word. Unfortunately, <laughs> Emily lost the footage of her picking the like the theme, but you guys have to believe our word. Like we did it randomly, it it was fate. So we ended up with Galaxy Magical Girls, which is right up my alley. Ally, Ally. English is so hard <laughs> but like I was so excited like uh, that's like literally one of the things I love I love magical girls and cute stuff and then galaxy I'm the astropog for a reason guys so like yeah that's like that's the best thing that could have happened to me so uh, I ended up doing the liner you're currently seeing I used thick paper and a deep pen and it was like one of my very first times using them so I'm sure you can see like it splattered some ink in some parts and I actually had to fix it digitally because I didn't want Emily to have to deal with random spots of ink everywhere. <laughs> but yep, this is like, this girl is your typical magical girl with the whole magical transformation thing and whatnot. And I wanted to be like star themed. I know it was like galaxy, but I just wanted like to put a lot of stars in her outfit and everywhere and like give her like, um, I actually wanted to give her like freckles with the shape of stars but didn't do it, it because I don't know I just like maybe it wouldn't work but I want kind of want to like draw her more in the future maybe maybe she will become a character of mine but I don't know I just like really like this drawing in any case Emily and me ended up doing the whole exchange digitally because we we'll do live in different countries. I'm in Canada and she's in the United States and it would have taken a while for me to get her actual artwork. So we ended up scanning the picture and then uh, sending the file to each other. So And so that happened. But maybe in the future we will do a true traditional one. <sighs> a puck and dream. But anyway. And so Emily gave me back this amazing line art with tons of detail and even a background. And I was like so surprised, like I never do complicated backgrounds. I was like, ah, this is so good. Oh my God, I need to do it justice. But my printer wasn't working at all for some reason. Like I, you know, guys that my laptop exploded. So I lost the driver. So I tried to install the driver again but it wasn't printing so I had to go I had to go to my school and print it there but like I wasn't sure what to do because it was like on bond paper and I'm pretty sure that I usually do watercolor and I wanted to draw markers but bond paper can't take any of other medium so I was like uh, what do I do but then I just like you know there's like this technique where you photocopy a picture and then you use a colorless blender on top of it and then the image transfers. So I did that off camera just because I wasn't sure if it was going to work because I used watercolor paper for this piece and like it actually worked but the liner was like really, really, really soft. So I'm 
guessing you guys can really see it that well. I'm going to put the peak of her liner like at some point on this video so you guys can see how awesome it is. <laughs> but like, yeah, that's what I did to make it work because my printer wasn't like working with me. So yeah, I ended up using wash for this picture. I don't really know how to use wash so if you see like these videos like me struggling with wash because it's like that weird love child of acrylics and watercolors so I was like what is going on because it was like a really soft uh, gluey texture but at the same time it was fun I know a lot of people don't like wash but I was like I don't know, I, I wasn't sure if watercolors were going to be okay with the whole transferred picture thing, so I was like, okay, I'm going to do gouache. Yeah, and if you see, like, I have the, uh, the true line art next to me, because I'm like, I want to make everything just as Emily did. Uh, so yeah, that's why the image, when I, see, when I show you guys, like, the actual line art, it will be flipped. Because I didn't take into account that. I wasn't, like, thinking, oh, it's going to flip over when I transfer it. But it did. So that's the thing. Uh. So, okay, now about the fun part. Like, I'm going to talk to you guys about Emily. Okay, so Emily, or as I like to call her, Mimely. Like, memes, because she's the biggest meme. Uh, is one of the most charismatic YouTubers I've seen out here in YouTube. Like, uh, she's a beginner, but, like, her videos, like, really inspire me to try harder for you guys. I know, like, some people don't really like voiceovers, but some other people do. So I try to do voiceovers as much as I can and talk as much as I can because my videos usually end up being really long. But her voiceovers are actually, like, really fun to listen to. So, like, she inspires me to make mine more expressive, you know? Like, actually try to talk to you guys. Like, you're my friends and stuff. And just not the usual blah, blah, blah. This is what is happening on my picture. Blah, blah, blah. Maybe some people like that. But anyway... <laughs> Uh, like, she's really friendly over the, like, the boys. And, like, you feel like you're her friend. And I'm her friend now. I'm sure if you guys try to be befriend her, she will, like, be like, sure. Because, like, she's really nice. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, if you want to have fun while watching Speed Pins, she's the gal to go to. Like, I recommend her. Like, 10 out of 10. Good stuff right there. <laughs> Um, and like she's like really super talented like her art is like top-notch and then you have like she makes her own music like that is so amazing for me because I actually use like free royalty music for my background when I stop talking but like she makes her own music and lets anyone use her use the music she makes as long as you credit her so if you want everyone music like she's the one to go to as well um, and also like her videos are like really entertaining. Like she has like this uh, stuff that where she tells personal stories and whatnot. And like, I don't know, like she's an amazing YouTuber. Even she's just a beginner, just like me. I feel like she is senpai for some reason. Like senpai notice me. And she noticed me. So I'm like, oh, senpai notice me. And we're making a call up. So yeah. So be sure to check out her channel. Um, I'm going to link it below also like. So you guys be sure to check out her videos. I'm sure she will be like the super rising star. And soon I will be known as the pug that did a collab with her. And she was awesome. And I'm just like, eh, there. <laughs> so I think that grabs most of it. Hopefully I will get better and better with this voiceover, you know. Like I had ton of fun, tons of fun making this collaboration. I'm just like so inspired. And I'm going to try to make more complicated artwork. Because like... That background took me forever. I was like, oh my god. But it was like so much fun at the same time. So I'm going to try to do more backgrounds. And yeah, if you guys have any suggestion for any future videos, I'm always up to like suggestions because I have no idea what to draw for you. Because I could draw my own characters, but at the same time, like, I don't know if I want to do that yet. <laughs> so if you have like any series you like, I would maybe draw it. Maybe, if I like it. Maybe, hopefully. So yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video because those fit my little puzzle and it will make me so, so happy. And 
uh, I will try to upload as much as I can new content every week. I'm not sure if I will be able to do it because I have school and whatnot and like finals in like two weeks, but <laughs> I'm trying my best. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching guys. This book is out.